If you look closely, you'll see these farmers are scraping more than just the bark of this tree. They're actually harvesting small, clear droplets of mastic tree resin. Those tiny drops are one of Greece's most valuable products. Just one kilogram can retail for about $350. But for a tree like this to produce any resin, farmers must first harm it. They do so by making as many as 600 cuts into the bark, depending on the tree. So what exactly is mastic resin used for? And why is it so expensive? Mastic, or mastija as it's most commonly called, has been produced in Hios, Greece for centuries. It has a unique flavor and aroma, which has been described as a little bitter, sweet, fruity, and earthy. Though it's not a household name, Mastija goes into a variety of products you might interact with every day. It's found in things like cosmetics and desserts, and on its own, the texture is chewy, hard, and gum-like, which is why Mastija has been produced as a natural chewing gum for years. Producing this resin requires continuous work throughout the year, but the most critical stage starts in July, when farmers must first hurt the trees. This is the point where farmers go one by one to each tree, every week for about two months, making incisions into the branches. Many cuts like this would permanently damage or kill other kinds of trees, but not this kind. Uh, to the draw. Ε, παράγει το μαστίχι ουσιαστικά για να επουλώσει αυτές τις τομές που εμείς του προκαλούμε. Είναι ουσιαστικά η άμυνα του δέντρου ούτως ώστε να κλείσει την πληγή του. Alexi makes anywhere from 20 to 600 incisions, depending on the age of a tree and the number of branches. It's important that farmers don't cut too deeply into the tree. If they do, they could damage the tree's core. The trees can also heal from these deeper cuts, but it will take them three times longer to do so. And if the farmers make too many deep cuts into a tree, there's a risk the tree will die. And although bigger, older trees require more work, they'll ultimately yield more resin. Ένα δέντρο για να μπει στην παραγωγή και να αρχίσει να αποδίδει μαστίχα ε, χρειάζεται περίπου 5 με 7 χρόνια, αλλά για να μπει στη, στη full παραγωγικότητά του ε, θα χρειαστούν περίπου 15 με 20 έτη. Τότε είναι η καλύτερη περίοδος του δέντρου, από τα 15 έως τα 50 του έτη. Even when a tree reaches its peak, it typically produces only about 200 grams of resin per year. In September and October, farmers complete the most physically demanding part of the process, collecting the resin droplets. They use tools called kamotiri to scrape the secreted resin from the bark. If this work isn't done right, harvesters risk breaking the resin into small pieces and losing money. Γιατί αν γίνει σκόνη, ξύνοντας πολύ δυνατά το δέντρο ή πολύ απότομα ή πολύ γρήγορα, ε, τα δάκρυα θα, γίνουν, θα σπάσουν και θα γίνουν σκόνη, οπότε χάνουμε από το τελικό προϊόν. Μαστίχα trees flourish here because of the distinct climate of Hios Island, where there is little rain in the summer. This makes it easier for farmers to collect the resin. In fact, people have tried unsuccessfully to plant mastiha producing trees in places like Italy. Ε, η μαστίχα είναι η Χίος ε, και η Χίος είναι η μαστίχα, δηλαδή είναι συνειφασμένο το, το προϊόν με το νησί. Ε, καλλιεργείται από τα αρχαιοελληνικά χρόνια, έχει κάνει τη Χίο διάσημη σε όλο τον κόσμο. Producers collect each droplet from the ground and sieve it to separate the clear drops from the soil. The resin at this point is a semi-transparent and sticky liquid. Farmers store the resin until the weather cools down so it will harden, becoming less sticky and easier to handle. After this, they wash the drops before workers remove any remaining dirt or impurities and divide the drops according to size. Cleaning the resin lasts several months and it requires patience and a good eye. The women who participate in this work are crucial as it plays a huge part in determining the resin's final value. Όσο πιο καθαρό είναι το τελικό προϊόν, τόσο καλύτερη τιμή έχει. 
From here, the resin goes to a processing facility run by Hios Gum Mastic Growers Association. This is where it will be packaged as raw mastija, or further processed into gum, supplements, and oils. A pack of raw mastic resin like this retails for about $3 for just 10 grams. Exported resin can retail for a bit more, at $35 for 100 grams. Αυτή τη στιγμή η Ένωση εξάγει το προϊόν της μαστίχας σε 55 χώρες. Από τη συνολική παραγωγή που την περσίνη στο διάστημα 216 τόνοι, έχουν εξαχθεί το 80% περίπου της εκατό της παραγωγής. Ε, στην Ελλάδα καταναλώνεται περίπου το 20% ως φυσική ρητίνη, αλλά και ως παράγωγος σε τελικά προϊόντα. Another reason the resin remains so valuable has to do with its presumed health benefits. In 2015, the European Medicines Agency recognized Masiha as a form of traditional medication for treating stomach issues and skin wounds. But the varied uses of this resin and its incredible value make it vulnerable to imitation. As a way of preventing this, the European Union has recognized Masiha produced in Hios as a protected designation of origin product. The production of the real Masiha faces a threat from the climate crisis too. In 2012, fires ravaged Hios, and almost 30% of mastija trees were destroyed. Then in 2016, another fire destroyed almost 90% of trees, making an already difficult production all the more challenging. There are areas where almost the production of them is completely destroyed. Almost the center of the trees. This, we understand, is τραγικά δύσκολο γιατί μπορεί να είναι ένα δέντρο να είναι 50 χρονών στη μέγιστη παραγωγή του και ξαφνικά ένας άνθρωπος θα πρέπει να περιμένει μια πενταετία, εφταετία ε, στην οποία πρέπει να κοπιάσει για να καταφέρει να μεγαλώσει ένα δέντρο το οποίο βέβαια δεν θα είναι και παραγωγικός ήταν το προηγούμενο που κάηκε. But despite this damage, demand for mastiha continues to grow and naturally this is good for farmers with lots of trees. Alexi sells one kilogram for about $99. This is the cost before the jump in price when the resin is sold at retail. He produces about 1,000 kilograms of resin each season. Even with the cost to maintain the trees, this work provides him a good living. And beyond good returns, the work these farmers are doing continues to preserve a centuries-old tradition only found in Hios.